This is Valley News Live at noon. We began this afternoon with breaking news just into our newsroom. The man accused of vandalizing a Moorhead mosque with racist and hateful graffiti back in April won't spend another day in jail. A Clay County judge sentenced 22 year old Benjamin Enderly to five years of supervised probation. Enderly was caught on security cameras outside of the Moorhead Fargo Islamic Center mosque located at 2215 12th Avenue South on April 24th using red spray paint to write messages including gold to hell and death to Islam. Coming up tonight on Valley News Live at 5 and 6, hear Enderly's apology and from members of the mosque who say this has changed the way they live and worship. Well, new for you at noon, a Minneapolis man will spend the next 15 years behind bars for dealing drugs and threatening people with a gun on the Spirit Lake Reservation. Mark Anthony Taylor Jr. was found guilty of two drug charges, as well as felon in possession of a firearm. The Borough of Indian Affairs responded to a rollover crash in May of 2019. Officials say Taylor was in the car at the time of the crash, but he ran from police. Police found bags of meth and a scale in his car. Taylor was arrested in connection to a shots fired incident on the reservation just a week later. Police say he threatened people with a gun inside a home and fired it multiple times. Officials in Grand Forks say deaths from opioid overdoses are on the rise. There have been nearly 40 suspected overdoses this year, as well as three deaths. Police say the spike is largely due to fake oxycodone pills with fentanyl in them. Now, if you're around someone who use illicit drugs, the health department suggests carrying Narcon with you and learning how to administer it. Narcon is an inhaled drug that can hold off the effects of an overdose until help can arrive. You can get it for free at the pharmacies listed on your screen or by visiting the APC project in the Spectra Health Building. Well, the search continues in Pimela County today for a boy who hasn't been heard from in the last three days. The Sheriff's Department says Jacob Nussen was last seen at his home in Mountain, North Dakota on Tuesday. He was last seen wearing blue jeans, a gray t-shirt and work boots. After a day of searching, authorities say they found a hat that belonged to him, but nothing else. Well, the smoke is sticking around this afternoon and with it, the potential impact on your health. Let's go to meteorologist Lisa Green for a first look at your forecast. Hey, Lisa. Good afternoon. It's not feeling so good out there. We've got that smoke hanging around and this is our latest air quality index. More red, more purple on the map. These are colors we don't want to see. And a reminder, the area where we don't have color in the viewing area, that's because we don't have monitoring data from that area. We're still experiencing smoke there too, but Fargo, Grand Forks in that very unhealthy category, meaning uh, you should be staying inside as much as possible in these areas where our air quality is that low. Uh, unhealthy and red surrounding areas here and this hasn't changed much this morning our visibility reports and in fact it has worsened so here's a heads up for those areas up in Devil's Lake and Jamestown and Valley City uh, your air quality has worsened and you probably have noticed that if you've been outside at all here today and so we're all experiencing almost all of us experiencing a drop in visibility because of the smoke Fargo and Wapaton seeing some of our densest smoke here uh, right now with less than two miles visibility. So that wildfire smoke today, this is around noon, those areas in yellow and orange and red, that's where we're dealing with smoky skies. And that's where we're seeing some of that smoke really uh, hang on and drift in. We've got a south wind that's just helping to fill that in as we head into the afternoon. There's still smoke up north, but this is where some of the intensity is a little greater. And we just saw that on our uh, sky, rather on our uh, visibility map here. So conditions are going to be smoky through today. We'll let you know how the weekend is looking coming up here in just a couple of minutes. And we'll stay tuned with you to find out what to expect. Thanks, Lisa. Well, North Dakota Stocksman Association is offering a $24,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of whoever is responsible for shooting cattle in Kidder County, North Dakota. The Sheriff's Office says cattle have been found dead in the Dawson and Tappan areas earlier this month. Anyone with information should call the Kidder County Sheriff or the North Dakota Stockman's Association. Well, police are calling it an unfortunate accident. They say a woman accidentally mistook the gas pedal for the brakes while driving near the Summit Ridge Apartments in South Moorhead last night. The patio door area of the ground level apartment is damaged, but no one was hurt and no charges are being filed against the driver. A leaked document from the CDC reveals a serious warning about the coronavirus pandemic. 
Experts are saying the war has changed due to the Delta variant. The document says the variant is as contagious as the chickenpox and appears to cause more serious illness than previously thought. It also shows unpublished data revealing that fully vaccinated people might spread the virus at the same time as the unvaccinated. Well, the sweet sound of the blues is making its way to the Newman Outdoor Field this weekend. Gates open in less than one hour. Now check out popular names like Samantha Fisher or Fish and John Primer at the Fargo Blues Fest. Make sure to bring your lawn chairs as you face center stage. Something new this year, the Budweiser side stage will play music throughout the entire festival. These big names want to change the stereotype of blues music. Well, we want them to take away how enjoyable the blues are. You know, some people think blues is about crying in your beer, and it's not. It's about celebrating life. And so we want people to come out here and celebrate with us. Gates will open today at 1 and tomorrow at 11. Ticket prices in the Blues Fest lineup can be found on valleynewslive.com. Well, get your Minnesota pride ready for today. Governor Tim Walz has proclaimed it SUNY Lee Day in honor of the St. Paul gymnast who won the gold medal in the individual all-around competition at the Tokyo Olympics. Wall says Lee has made Minnesota and the U.S. proud by etching her name among the legendary USA Olympians. Here's a look at how her family and friends back home reacted to her winning. <laughs> Lee is the first Hmong American Olympian to bring home a gold medal. The 18-year-old became the fifth straight American woman to claim the Olympic title in the women's Olympic gymnastics all around. And the first thing she did after that big win, she gave her mom and dad a call. Well, coming up at noon, the rise of smartphones has led to a rise in distracted driving. We'll take a look at the laws in place to keep you safe on the road. But next, this haze doesn't seem to be wanting to go away anytime soon. Weather to plan your day with meteorologist Lisa Green.